Hello my dear students, welcome to IMS Git Academy. My dear students, people will have a lot of queries or lot of concerns whether to go for the core job or whether to go for IT sector. So let us understand in a realistic way what actually, what are the salary packages offered in core jobs, how you growth, how do you grow in core jobs and how do you grow in IT jobs. Now my dear students, I will be differentiating with the realistic tables. First, when I talk about the educational skill requirements, so what skills are required or what educational background is required to pursue a job in a core job that is electrical, civil, mechanical or in IT sector, mostly computer science. So coming to the degree, you can have engineering in mechanical, civil, electrical, mining, all these comes under core jobs. In IT sector, you should have a computer science or artificial intelligence or you can say data science or information technology. Coming to the technical skills, my dear students, especially in mechanical engineering, you should be aware of the softwares like ANSYS, in civil engineering, ETAP, STATPRO and in electrical you should be and electronics you should be aware of the softwares like MATLAB. Coming to the IT sector, now there are three different domains, one is the development phase, another one is the testing phase and the third one is the support. In the development phase, you should be aware of the languages like Java, Python and in the testing phase, you should be aware of the manual testing as well as automation like Selenium or Unified Functional Testing, UFT or you so talk about the jQuery which you test the web technologies. So my dear students, these skill sets will definitely value, add you, value addition to your resume. Now coming to the certifications. In the, actually in the core jobs related to the product or the projects, you should have a certification like PE license or PP, PMP license or if you talk about the cloud certifications like AWS or Microsoft or computer or technology industry association certificates. And definitely my dear students, if you want to be a good in DBMS, you should have a DBMS certification or if you want to be good in testing testing certification, similarly in development or if you are into the job like, like clouds, AWS certifications. So certifications will add value addition and through this you can get more salaries in your respective domains. Now coming to the job market and demand. So what is the actual demand in the market when they are going for more core jobs, when they are going for IT sector jobs? Now the first one is market drives, industrial growth, infrastructure projects. Now my dear students, let me tell you, in a country like India, where it is a rapidly growing, so infrastructure plays a very important role. So there might be lot of national highways, lot of skyscrapers, all these required civil engineers, electrical engineers and mechanical engineers. Or if you talk about the power corporation sector, thermal power corporation, you require mechanical and electrical guys. So you have to understand the recent trends in the industry also. Coming to the IT sector. Now everything is a digital transformation. You talk commerce, medical, edutech or any sector or if you want to talk about banking, everything is done digitally and you require more and more IT jobs. That is the reason if you see in colleges, realistically my dear students, if there are 1000 BE grad, undergraduation seats, almost 80% of the seats are filled for computer science and 200 seats are filled for the other branches. Definitely once it reaches the saturation, then definitely this is a cyclic thing will happen. So definitely core jobs because see it is something like supply and demand. More supply, less demand. Less supply, more demand. So this will also please keep in mind and always don't be eager that others are taking IT and I will also be keen in IT. So you understand this techno, this realistic things so that you will understand the importance of core jobs. Now coming to the demand, what I have told you. And the next one is growth areas for core jobs, renewable energy, infrastructure, in IT sector, cyber security, cloud computing or artificial intelligence. And let me tell you my dear students, in core jobs, the stability of the job will be more when compared to IT. Because in IT, you should be updating your skills and you should be a competitive one. And here experience plays a matter because once your experience grows and grows in core jobs and you will be highly paid and that experience will definitely value well your addition to your job profile. Now coming to the salary comparisons, usually if you see for core jobs it will be 2-3 lakhs for the starting 
and uh, for IT, 4 to 5 lakhs. There are some companies in IT where the starting package can be 10 to 15. But uh, as a whole, uh, keeping consideration of all the graduates, I've taken the average. And if you talk about the mid-career, 5 to 6 lakh core and IT sector, 8 to 10 lakhs. And uh, senior level, 10 to 12 lakhs and 16 to 20. But let me tell you, the facilities provided in core jobs will be more when compared to IT sector. The package will be more, but in core jobs, they will be providing a separate Bangla HRA and they will be providing some people for your respective concerns like a cook call, small, small examples. Definitely in core jobs, the facilities provided will be more when compared to the IT sector. But IT sector will have a slight edge considering they will have more salaries when compared to the core jobs. Now, my dear students, when I talk about the aspect core jobs and IT sector, first we talk about the work environment. See students, in work environments, uh, in core jobs, you have to go to on-site, factories, plants, industries and all. But it is an office, in IT sector, it is an office based and you can work remotely or you can work from home also. But these kind of jobs, it is mandatory to visit the sites at least three days a week. And coming to the physical demands, these works require high on task, like a particular, uh, the person who is specialized in particular field, they will be uh, highly in demand. But here, when compared to the demand, you have low predominantly because you can say that more people are available. Job stability, I told you, based on the, like if you talk about the infrastructure, these are everyday balanced. And if you see the demand, like uh, in core jobs, the demand might be less. At the same time, the people will be also less. In IT sector, demand might be high. And constantly, you have to update your code. You have to revamp the code. You have to update your new technologies. And suppose if there is something happening in the cloud and you have to change the entire code in the to make the system fast and all. So C students, updation is a day-to-day -day activity in IT sectors. So it requires more and more jobs also. Now coming to the career path and work-life balance. And let me tell you simple words. Core job will have more work-life balance when compared to the IT, even though you are working from home. Now let me talk career path as a junior engineer, senior engineer, managerial positions in a, if you talk about the junior engineer or senior engineer, managerial positions in core jobs, developer or you can say project manager, chief technical officer or data scientist in IT sector. Similarly, work-life balance, potentially depending on-site presence, better balance, flexible hours, remote hours. But see students, they have given you better balance, but remember in the, com in the projects like in our software, there will be tight deadlines where you have to, even though your working hours is 9 to 6, you have to push yourself from time, night 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, where you have to complete the codes and where you have to submit the projects. And coming to the technology impact, use of automation, IoT, and advanced manufacturing like CNC and all, AI, machine learning, and blockchain. Blockchain plays a very important role in IT nowadays, and cloud also plays a very vital role. Now, my dear students, if you want to get any updates on our YouTube channel, you can join our Telegram group. And regarding the PSU job notifications, we are posting also the daily quizzes. And the link is provided in the description. Just click on the link and join the Telegram group for the updates. And my dear students, we at IMS Gate Academy offers 800 plus hours of offline gate coaching, online gate coaching and self-recorded sessions. We are providing the offline gate coaching at Vijayawada and Maleshwaram and also at uh, Jainagar, Bangalore. My dear students, we are providing a premier product of 33 years previous year gate solutions. We are also providing the video solutions for the difficult level questions and we are also providing the key pointers and alternative solutions. My dear students, we are providing subject wise material, exercise book level 1, level 2, level 3 and we are also providing the 130 plus which covers subject test, advanced level test, basic, subject, basic sub chapter test and also we are providing the all India mock test which will be the replica of the gate environment. Apart from this, my dear students, we are providing the most important part, one-to-one -one mentorship and doubt solving, where the doubts will be resolved in 24 hours of time. These are the numbers where you can talk to our respective counselors. And I hope this video will understand what is the actual difference between a core job and an IT sector job. Thank you and all the best.